Sup everybody. So to start off today's vlog, uh, first of all, I want to say happy Easter. Uh, I know that this will be uploaded a little bit after uh, Easter day, but happy Easter to everybody nonetheless. And I wanted to start off by giving you guys a really cool uh, look into what did I actually do uh, the day before I go to a tournament. So for me, it's very important to utilize the correct surface on my bowling balls. So that's why I've got a pencil here. And you might be wondering why a pencil. Well, what I do is <clears throat> I take uh, this pencil and I write on bowling balls all in my bags, which I've got my bags down here. Uh, as you can see, these, these three right here, uh, those three bags uh, have nine balls in them, the nine that I'm taking and I'm going to be writing my surface on each of them, and then I'm gonna do it in the ball spinner. And then once I get that done, I'm done for the day, because it's Friday, and then I don't have to worry about it whenever I get to the tournament, unless I need to change something specifically, but I've got them pretty much all fresh. I don't do it for all nine, but I'll probably do about seven today, and then if I need to change anything whenever I get to the bowling alley, we will. But we'll be bowling on some pretty easy shots this weekend, so I'm hoping that we can get some high scores. Tomorrow, Saturday, I'm bowling with Brandon Krause in the doubles, Really excited for that. Shout out to him for uh, joining me on that venture. I'm really excited. So you'll see plenty of him in uh, tomorrow's portion. And then Sunday, I'm bowling singles. Uh, so this is all in Lawrence, Kansas, uh, about 20 minutes away from where I'm at now, which is Fusion Alley Pro Shop uh, here at the Pro Shop. And if you haven't seen my In the Pro Shop series, be sure and click uh, in the top left corner of your screen right now, and you'll see that in the little i-card in the top right, excuse me. And uh, and then uh, uh, I'll be bowling singles on Sunday, still on a pretty easy shot. It's like a one to eight ratio. But for now, I'm gonna get this surface done and then uh, we'll go from there. So enjoy guys. Brandon, how did bowling go today? I feel like I didn't bring the right equipment, okay. but uh, we made our spares, not a lot of splits, and um, we were positive. Yes, so, 202. 
All good. After three games, we were negative 70-something. Yep. So I'll take 202. Although you said making our spares. I saw you miss some in there, you know. There are a few. But I missed some, too. But, okay. <laughs> it's okay. you know. It yeah. happens. I'm pretty content with how we finished. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I think so. All right. Thanks, Brandon, for bowling with me. You're welcome. Hey guys, so quick recap for today. Uh, as you uh, as you heard when Brandon was talking there, we struggled the first three games, but then we had a great uh, five games after that. Uh, but those first three games really killed us. Turned out uh, kind of sucks, but you know, hey, uh, we we stayed strong and uh, we definitely finished out really well. Uh, going plus two hundred two today was uh, definitely not what I thought we would do after we were negative 70-something the first three. So I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with how that we came back on the day, and hopefully I can get something going tomorrow in singles. I do want to say a shout-out to today, uh, Angeli, uh, for filming, uh, Brandon's fiance. So thanks a ton for filming for me today, and uh, hopefully I can get something going tomorrow. And... Uh, Show you guys a little little win out there tomorrow would be really nice. A, right now is a really good time to subscribe, by the way. Hit that subscribe button down below because next week I'm going to have another vlog coming out from the Southwest Tournament, the return of Alec on the channel. So I'm really excited about that. So see you guys tomorrow. Hello, everybody. And I want to say a shout out to my awesome new sponsor that I recently signed with, Turbo. Uh, this is an official announcement that I can make for you guys. Uh, I've been waiting to announce it for a little bit because I haven't had any uh, tournaments to bowl on my own because I've been so busy with college bowling. I'm bowling in so many tournaments in college, but I want to say a huge shout out to Turbo Bowling. Um, be sure to uh, check them out on social media, Turbo 2-in-1 Grips uh, on Facebook, and they're a great company. I love their grips. Uh, I've been using their Switch Grips for a little over a year now, and I've used their grips for probably eight years or so. Uh, and I love them so much. So be sure to check them out. Uh, they also have like KT tape and uh, it's called rock tape uh, and stuff like that. So be sure to check them out. Thanks guys for the support and see you at the bowling alley. Hey guys, so I just want to wrap everything up. Um, and so uh, before I forget, I want to shout out uh, one of my friend's YouTube channels. So be sure to check it out. It's called Club 300 Productions. Uh, and you might even see my mom, Sherry, uh, across some of the more recent videos. She's been bowling really well back home in Texas. Uh, and she's uh, been featured on those vlogs a little bit. So shout out to Elijah Sledge and Hogan Hargrove doing those very well. Uh, so good job, guys, and, and keep up the good work. So to recap today, uh, as you saw, it started off on a good note. I felt like I was crushing them the first three, just staying real steady, doing good, doing well. Uh, nobody else really had huge scores for about the first three or four games. Uh, then game four, I ground out like a two-teen. And then after that, I just kind of fell on my face. Uh, I pretty much... Um, I felt like I was throwing the ball amazing all day, and, and let me tell you something about bowling. In bowling, you can throw the ball phenomenal every day and still not score at all. And then, uh, sometimes, you can throw the ball really bad 
and your scores are just like really good. Uh, that's one of the truths about bowling that you have to accept. And today, I was on the side of it where I felt like I threw it great all day. Had a few really bad shots, but they were a few and far in between. And, and um, you know, it's very unfortunate because for how good that I thought I was bowling today, uh, I definitely thought that I should have uh, scored better. Uh, I had a pretty interesting ball reaction the first um, five games. I was throwing urethane. And I knew that I, I was ready. I knew that as soon as my look went away, it was going to go away big. And I had to move huge, like make a huge move to the left. And, uh, you know, I certainly tried my absolute best. And whenever I made my move, I thought that I did the right thing. I went uh, 18 and 9 left on a fill shot uh, whenever we went to the low end. My fill shot on lanes 1 and 2 went... 18 and 9 left with the tactics hybrid, threw a good shot, struck, and then went to the next pair, and it looked it looked like garbage. It did. And so I went to the Black Widow 2.0. It looked pretty decent, but I couldn't carry anything. Uh, I would hit pocket, ring 10. Uh, I boned a 7 in there, uh, and just some really, really bad hits, and it made me feel really defeated. I feel I feel very defeated for how that I bowled today. I, I felt like I threw the ball incredible, and I definitely uh, thought that I gave myself way more of a chance than I had because scores weren't necessarily super high the first, like, three or four games. And then they exploded. The scores, the scores went straight up. They shot up quickly uh, after game four, and I just I wasn't able to keep up. Uh, I still felt like I was throwing it good, but... I just couldn't get anything going, you know, as far as carry goes or anything like that. Uh, I missed, uh, like, I had, like, f six opens maybe, all eight games, maybe seven. Uh, I didn't have a lot of opens today and uh, had, like, four missed makeables and that's it. Uh, the rest were splits. Um so definitely a good spare shooting day, I thought. Um, definitely felt like today was a good good spare day, but it's hard when you're not when you're not striking all the time to keep up. And uh, you know, I definitely uh, I'm getting tired of of putting myself in these house shot tournaments because I just I feel like house shot has become a struggle for me, and it's hard to say that, but and it sucks saying that, but I mean. I feel like over the recent last year or so, house shot has just been my complete struggle, and I I would much rather put myself in something uh, that's a little more difficult, uh, just because I know that 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 is I feel like that's where I shine a lot better is being able to figure out the lanes whenever they're not super scorable, and it's unfortunate because a lot of tournaments around are always on house shot and so that kind of sucks and of course next weekend i'm bowling the southwest tournament in wichita and that's on a house shot uh so it sucks that there's not a lot of non house shot tournaments around right now but i really i really hope that that here soon i can i can find some to do uh just so it gives me a better chance honestly so anyways, guys, thank you so much for listening to me ramble there for a few minutes. And be sure to subscribe below, leave a like, and, and thank you for watching this video. And uh, like I said, I'll be vlogging next weekend, too. You'll get to see Alec, the return of Alec on the vlog. Uh, so be sure to subscribe and be ready for that because uh, I'll be bowling in Wichita next weekend. So I'm really excited for that, guys. Thank you so much for everything. Have a great day, and happy Easter. God bless. And it always starts